everyone! I'm finally back home, so I'll be home for the rest of the summer. This is just um, a, a quick con report about this year's PC and Amazing 2013. This is my third year attending this con. So, so I was really excited as always since um, both both years previously have been really a lot of fun. I've always had a blast with them and um, this year has been no exception. So basically I arrived at home with my friend Tori on Thursday evening to just kind of prep up and get ready for, for the con. And then um, Friday when the con started, Friday um, me and my friend Ashley and her boyfriend Bryce and Jesse and like a bunch of us we were just all ponies and it seemed like everybody really liked enjoyed that a lot I really had a lot of fun too since I never I never done like a group cosplay before so this was like my very first time actually doing a group cosplay with people and it was fun like I would definitely love to do that again especially since it seems like it was you know really really well received by people they were like oh you guys are so cute and blah 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 and <laughs> so it was it was a lot of fun and then after that, I, I changed out of that into um, my Chun Li cosplay, so I can because um see Zing has a this has a date auction. Basically, you just go up there and you auction yourself off to the highest bidder, and and to the highest bidder, you're supposed to spend about a half hour with them, either at the rave or the ball. That's generally how it works, and it's for a good cause. It, it usually um goes back to the con the money does or. I think this time around they're actually going to do like a charity type thing like we're supposed to go to St. Jude's Hospital like a portion of it. I'm not sure. That's what um that's what their website said at least. I'm not really 100% sure on that, but I know it goes to a good cause. That's why I always tend to do it. The previous years, I know the first time I went to Zing I did that as Tifa, then the second time around I was Applejack, but but um but that's a different tangent. I'll tell you guys that story on a different time. It's really funny though. Um but anyways, yeah, and then um, also Ashley and Tori and I, we got um, we also got in like a like a mini interview by this guy that was from like the local newspaper that took a picture of us. So, so we're apparently online at um, the local paper thing. That was cool, uh, and and yeah, and then like um, then after that, I uh, I went to the ball, where surprisingly enough, I actually met people at the ball. It was kind of shocking. I was like, oh my gosh. Because here I am going to the ball, and I was like, oh, it's going to be such a drag. But then I come out of it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I met all these really cool people. Hot damn. So, so that was pretty much a summary of Friday, and then I left really early because I had to um, work on four paper finals that were due, like, on, at, like, midnight on Saturday. So I couldn't really stay for too long. So yeah, that, that pretty much sums up all of Friday. And Saturday, Saturday was the, was the good day. That Saturday was the fun, fun day. Um, after I finished all the, the gruesome four paper finals, which I did, I finished it like at 3 p.m. with an hour, with enough, with an, just enough time to get ready because I was actually, um, I was actually a judge for the masquerade for this year's zing, which that was a lot of fun. It was, it was truly an honor to, to be able to judge everybody that competed in that. Um, but yeah, and it, I definitely learned a lot too. I mean, I kind of hope I can, you know, judge again. For Zing, if they let me, that is, because <laughs> I, I had fun. It was a good time, and I just loved seeing everybody's um you know hard work and craftsmanship and and yeah and um but it was mainly um I believe it was like six six yeah six competing for craftsmanship and two were for skits and then the the ninth group th they were competing for both craftsmanship and skit. So yeah, so it was a total of nine contestants. But yeah, this isn't a big con though, so that maybe that's why you guys are probably thinking that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, it's a small con. We're not really, it's not really that big. So, so it makes sense why it was not that many people. But despite the small number, I was very impressed by the quality of work. It, it was, it was really good. The masquerade was a lot of fun. So I had fun with that. And then after that, after I, I got finished being a judge, I got to be a gym leader. I, had to be, I got to be the ground type gym leader for the Pokemon League panel. Um, that was also a lot of fun. And oh my gosh, you guys were, the guy, the people who were in that panel, you guys are su were super nice and accommodating to, to my situation. Because <laughs> you see, um, I was kind of included at the last minute, so I had no Pokemon ready for, for this panel. But, um... 
but you guys helped me out. You guys, you know, you're like, oh, here you go. So you, you get us some Pokemon. So, but it was fun. Um, funny thing, though, that I kind of noticed as I was battling the people, people were, like, getting really, like, freaking out about me having a purple Nintendo DS. And they were like, oh my gosh, you have a purple DS. I was like, yeah, it's a purple DS. <laughs> like, I, I got my DS on Black Friday, like, at Toys R Us, so I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but apparently it is. I guess it's, it's hard to find or something, something another. But... But this, but yeah, all the, the, um, the trainers that went to that panel, wow, they were, they were really enthusiastic about it and really into it. Like, yeah, good job, guys. You guys were super, super awesome. Um, also, this was the badge I got to give, um, to people that I battled, the pyramid badge, since I was the, the ground type gym leader. Yeah, the badge, the, yeah, the stickers are really nice, too. So, yeah, so that was a lot of fun, even though it was technically, you know, kind of like volunteering. And, but it was fun. Like, I, I always like doing stuff like that. So, um, then after that, after that, I got to see Dr. Awkward. Oh, my gosh, that was so much fun. That was, like, one of the funnest things um, from that whole con. And then, like, not even did I get, just get to see Dr. Awkward perform. I even went, like, everybody that was there, we all went up stage and we all, like, danced with him. Like, we performed with him. It was, oh, my gosh, it was pretty magical it was pretty great and um yeah that was fun and then after that i hung out with a few of you know i hung out with like sarah and andrew and and yeah so and um and then even and then I, like even before i went hung out with them i decided even i decided to talk to little karibo too because he was also a guest at this at this con super nice guy super nice Tip, your, your typical british gentleman and then I also, I even hung out with Greg Eris. Greg Eris was there too. And Greg Eris, also super nice guy. Really funny. He had a lot of really, a lot of really funny jokes. And, and yeah, it, it was just really awesome to meet him in particular. I mean, all the guests were fabulous. But Greg Eris, oh man, I'm a huge Sayuki fan. You, you have no idea. Like, Sayuki was like my thing in junior high. And it still is kind of my thing to this day. I just think it's a great, a great anime, great manga. You guys should totally check it out. Like, it's really, really long, but it's really worth it. Like, it really teaches you a lot about life. I'll just, I'll just say that much. But yeah, then, um, Sarah, Andrew, and then Frankie and I, we all went to, um, play Cards Against Humanity with Samurai, Dan, and Jill, with, and also Quentin Flynn was there. That was fun. I mean, you know, Cards Against Humanity. I mean, what... <laughs> You could just imagine the hijinks that goes on in that. <laughs> and and I got to talk to Quentin Flynn a little bit. And um, so, yeah, so I did that. And then after that, I actually uh, went ahead and met a few people, you know, that know me from my page or, you know, or even, yeah, that know me from my page. And, like, some of them actually, one of them actually gave me a gift. I got this really cute, like, Mario coin necklace. It's super cute. And then I also got a k poster. See? It's a k poster. It's super cute. I am like, you guys, you guys, you guys don't need to do that for me. <laughs> I am just perfectly happy with just hanging out. That's, that's it. I'll, all I want is just hang out with you guys. You don't have to give me presents or anything. It's, I mean, it's nice, but <laughs> seriously, I'm just, and then someone even took me out to dinner too. So I'm like, oh my gosh, so much fun. And, and yeah, oh, I was going to show you. And then this was the, um, the guy, the little guidebook with the schedules. Well, it's, it's not really little. It's actually kind of big. It's really fancy swanky. And then, um, here's the badge. Yeah, we totally upgraded to a new badge. It's actually, like, nice now. I was, I was excited about that. Um, so yeah, so hung out with people, and then after that, I couldn't stay for Sunday because of personal reasons, but... Honestly, Saturday, well, 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 Saturday and Friday, I think, really made up for, for me missing on Sunday. Saturday was just absolutely amazing. I think, um, I wish I could relive Saturday, that Saturday again. That Saturday was just ballin'. Um, but yeah, as always, um, I had a blast at QC and amazing, and if you guys happen to be in Iowa and you want to find a really fun and inexpensive con, I totally recommend you guys to check out QC and amazing. I'll provide you a link, um, down below to their website if you guys want more information on their on you know on their stuff yeah super fun time anyways guys thanks for watching and um also thank you so much for almost giving me 100 subscribers i promise once we hit 100 i think i'll do a sort of like a video special 
I'm still coming up with ideas for that. I was thinking about, like, maybe something like 100 Confessions, you know, so you guys can get to know me better. Um, but yeah, and then I'm um, also working on the new episode of Bacta Dad, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye!